Welcome to the Friday, March 21st, 2014 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, U.S. chicken exports surpassed their year-ago levels in January. Then later, grocers struggle to stay ahead of rising wholesale meat prices. But first, Super Value announces their plans for a streamlined, independent business operation. Here with the details is your host, Jamie Chadwick. As part of a new structure, Super Value's independent business will consolidate from three regions to two regions, forming new east and west teams located in Virginia and Minnesota. Super Value will streamline the organization and reduce operating costs while continuing to drive sales growth with its current and prospective customers. Initially, the company anticipates reducing its employee workforce by approximately 200 positions, but impacted employees will have an opportunity to apply for open positions within the new organization. To read more about Super Value's business plan, along with other news from the center of the plate, head on over to foodmarket.com. In other news, pork market reporter Russell Barton discusses how grocers are struggling to stay ahead of the sharp gains that have been occurring in wholesale meat prices, most recently in the pork sector. Wholesale prices reported by Erner Barry's Yellow Sheet and the USDA for fresh pork cuts such as bone-in and boneless loins, shoulder butts, and bellies have climbed on average about 50% since the beginning of February. Spare ribs are up as well in that period, but only by about 25%. Prices at the wholesale level for several pork cuts have advanced so rapidly, in fact, that they have caught up with, or nearly so, the retail price points seen in this week's printed advertisements at some supermarket chains. For shoppers with a few extra dollars available and additional room in their freezers, this weekend may be an excellent time to stock up on several of these products for use this summer before retail prices move up sharply. Fueling the price gains at the wholesale level have been expectations for a significant decline in slaughter-ready hog supplies this spring and summer due to the rapid increase in porcine epidemic diarrhea virus cases last fall and throughout the winter. Analysts estimate death losses of very young pigs from the disease at 5 million to 6 million head, possibly more, since PEDV was first found in the U.S. last spring, but the majority of the cases have occurred since early October. Hog slaughters have fallen significantly versus a year ago so far in March, with the first two weeks down an average of nearly 7%, and this week's figure is projected to be about 6% below the year ago number. Further declines are projected in the months ahead. To view this week's feature activity, subscribers can access the breakdown for various meat and poultry cuts by clicking on the Retail Features option under the Red Meat tab in Comtel. Thanks, Russell. To wrap up today's show, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells discusses U.S. chicken exports in January that surpassed their year-ago levels. Total chicken exports for January 2014 surpassed their year-ago levels by more than 38,000 metric tons, or 16.2 percent. According to the latest FAS figures, export destinations like Russia, Canada, and Angola each took in less U.S. chicken in January than they did the year prior. Observers should not be surprised by the fact that Mexico still remains the U.S. chicken industry's top trading partner, representing just under 20 percent of the world total. In January, they imported nearly 55,000 metric tons, a total value of about $57.5 million. Russia was the United States' second largest export market, and although it imported 8.1% less than it did a year ago, it still brought in just under 21,000 metric tons. Georgia took the biggest leap by improving its total of U.S. chicken to over 11,900 metric tons, which is about a 410% increase over last year. The total world exports for January 2014 were valued at about $322 million, $15 million more dollars than what was earned in January of 2013. For more U.S. chicken news and market analysis, head over to Comtel and click on the poultry tab. Thanks Terrence, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education and insight for the beef, pork and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.